Champagne Bubbly TV, I'm True Dust. This is the first in a series of UK Garage True Dust interviews where I'm going to be bringing you the cream of the crop of the scene. You're going to be hearing DJs, MCs, and producers. We're kicking off right here with DJ Q. Let's go. Uh, we're with DJ Q as I said, Q, good to have you. Yo, what you say, man? Yeah, good man. Yeah, I've been on your um, album tour, Amsterdam yeah. last night. Yeah. Birmingham tonight, you're probably tired than that, so respect for coming down. Uh, I finally got to link up, man. Yeah, yeah definitely. Cool, definitely. Uh, gonna talk about your album, naturally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What can we expect from that? Expect or unexpected. There's gonna be lots of different styles on there. Let me just ask you, because you know I'm a garage man, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of garage on there. Well, I'm a garage guy, out, so there's, yeah, there's gonna be a, quite a few stuff on there. Bass on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just give us a little um, bit into the unexpected, give um, us a little preview. Well, the first single off the album was like a French house kind of solid track. Okay. So that's gonna be on the album. Um, I've got a track on there featuring a couple of MCs from Wonder, so that's a hip hop track. Hip hop? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely unexpected. That's good. So, so yeah. thinking out of the box then. Yeah, definitely. And that's when, that's due for release when? In the November on local action. Okay, definitely look out for that. Um, album tour, you said you've been in Amsterdam last night. You've been yeah, Amsterdam last Birmingham night. Birmingham tonight. Birmingham tonight. What future dates have you got? Um, How many's left? Future dates, all this tonight in Birmingham. Italy on Friday. Manchester Saturday. What was the reaction like in Amsterdam? Like, what kind of stuff were you playing as well? I was, I was playing what I normally play. To be honest, I didn't have to water my sound down or anything. I just went and played what DJ Q plays. Wicked, and it went up. Yeah, man. that's good to hear. Like the UK sound getting out there, like yeah. different cities and whatnot. So yeah, they yeah. love it over there as well, man. Because they don't get it a lot over there. They appreciate it when it comes. When it comes, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think they've got Sunship for the next one as well. Wicked. Sunship, you don't even see much of it. Funnily enough, I was in I was in Bristol last week. And that's the first time. Yeah, I saw that. Sunship, TS7, and you. Yeah, good little mix. Good little mix. Alright, let's move on. Like you have got singles uh, and EPs coming out. Yeah, uh, you got bass tracks volume one, which is out now. Yeah, Q bass tracks volume one is that's out That's it. Now. Not not bass tracks. Q bass yeah. tracks. Yeah. yeah. And that's then when's volume two out? Volume two is gonna be out. I think December now. I was going to rush and put it out in October before the album came out, but I just, yeah. just let the first one breathe because it's still doing a lot, so... Definitely. Another EP I want to talk about, Trumpet and Badman, is DJ House. Yeah, man, that's, uh, that's, that's just me having fun, that. What's it called, the EP? Love, Love Keeps Shining. Love Keeps Shining, the track on there, Go. Yeah, yeah. You're taking it back to 96 with a twist. Yeah, yeah, like, of course. Feeling that definitely. Yeah. I want to ask you who's trumpet and who's bad man. <laughs> we are let you Where decide. The cat fits, yeah, I'll, I'll wherever, what, whoever the cat fits, man. Yeah, okay. You got more trumpet and bad man material on the way? Yeah, we've got a second EP on, on the way actually. I think we're just finishing that up now. Yeah, it's good to hear that, that, that bubbly sound. Because like, yeah, 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 at the moment there's a lot of house, we're talking about house scene in the car, garage scene and whatnot. Yeah, like, yeah. That crosses a lot of boundaries. Like, it's yeah. taking, like I said, it's taking the old school sound, flipping it. Yeah, definitely. But I think most of the house now is actually garage anyway. Yeah. 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 It's like the house that you hear now is stuff that you'd hear in garage in like 97 and 98. Definitely you've got influences like coming out of it too. Yeah, yeah. of course, 100%. Um, remix work, like I've got two words, mob, mob deep. <laughs> That's all <laughs> yeah. you need to say. Yeah, mob Tell deep. Us about that. that was a bit bizarre that I was on Twitter one night. This and I saw a tweet by uh, my friend in America and Red Bull Music, you know what I mean? And they tweeted, they retweeted Prodigy saying, oh, I want a UK garage mix. So the girl I had made the same thing. Yeah. Prodigy followed me and then we were just going back and forth for about a week and then ended up doing a remix. When's that coming out? Because well, that got uploaded to YouTube, didn't it? Yeah, it's on, it's on YouTube now. I'm not sure if it's actually coming out, you know, to be honest. Seriously? I don't know what's going on with that. You know the, the vocal on that, that's yeah. like some old school 99 yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah, you know, yeah, like when there was yeah. a lot of bootlegs coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's on that tip, like, me, I feel that flavour. So yeah, yeah, definitely, man. I have to heat you up for a copy of that, yeah, man. I definitely, definitely can get that, man. Yeah, respect, respect. <laughs> Gonna move on, talk about you as a DJ, talk yeah. about you as a producer. How long have you actually been DJing professionally? Professionally, for about 
just under 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, just under 10 years. In that time, you must have seen some crazy things. Like, what's your craziest DJing experience? I think the most bizarre thing for me was I played at Pasha for EZ's um, 4x4 event. And that was like bizarre because one, it was EZ's 4x4 event. Yeah. Two, I played after EZ. And while I was playing EZ, I was actually dancing to what I was playing to. And big. him being a big inspiration it was definitely crazy. Most surreal thing. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I can believe it. Um, okay, you've been in it for 10 years. You was into old school Gary, we were talking yeah, about yeah, that yeah, in the yeah. car. What's your favourite old school Gary track? There's so many tracks that so I've So many seen. tracks, yeah. You could go back to House and Gary, like, 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 like Monday, I could be feeling one track. Tuesday, yeah. I could be feeling another track. Mm. Wednesday, it's. it's there was so much bangers in Garage, but yeah. I think one that always stands out to me is um, Shola Hammer Much Love, the Dream Team remix. Okay, yeah. Because that was like, that got my attention. Yeah. Properly. I was like, yeah. yeah, this is the song. You know, funny enough, like, I was after that track for years and I couldn't get it. Like, I heard it on a Timmy Magic tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't yeah. get it. Found it on Discogs a year ago for a pound, <laughs> man. <laughs> One yeah, pound. I think I think I got the vinyl back in the day, and then it scratched, and I bought it about three, four years ago from Hard yeah, to Find yeah. for like six quid. Yeah, yeah. Discogs is the one. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. You can yeah, get yeah. so I'm much on there for I cheap. Can, I can go on Discogs and spend like all Same, day yeah. just buying vinyls. Yeah. Okay. Um, new school garage. Let's talk about. It. Like the scene new, and that school my garage, hands, um, <laughs> looking at the camera, rubbing my hands. Like, what do you think about new school garage? Like the tracks. The, I'm not, not gonna say the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk yeah, about yeah. the music. The music, the music's good, man. I enjoy it. I love it. Yeah, yeah, man. What producers are you rating at the moment? I tell you, sick. Um, a guy called CJ Rin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's in Poland. Yeah, yeah, he's got a mix of um, the Breach from Jack. Yeah, I've heard that. Mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad. That's probably one of my favorite new garage tracks at the moment. Yeah. I'm gonna move into the quick fire round, yeah? Alright, cool. Do this with every single guest. I'm gonna have to look at this because I'm looking forward to this. Old school or new school? New school. Yeah, that's what I've found here, definitely. 4-4 four, four or 2-step? 4-4. Four, four. Mm. Bubbly or dark side? Dark side. Intimate club or hype rave? Hype rave, all the time. Wookie or MJ Cole? Wookie. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. I asked so many guests this and I can't decide myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dizzy or Wiley? Wiley, just for what he's done for done. Dizzy. Yeah. yeah, of recent as well, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Alright, house or bass one? Um, I'm gonna say the political answer and say bass line is actually the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bass line, bass line, house, whatever. Yeah. Alright, bass line or garage? And you can't, you're not going to give me the political one here. I think I could give yeah, the political we know, answer we know again. Because that's, like, that's, that. that's why I'm, that's why I'm that's why I'm into bass. Well, that's why I was into bass line because I was making four four Gary tracks and then they just ended up getting played. Nah, bass you, you're not having it. You got to pick. You got to pick. It's one of the other. All right, I tell you what, bass line because of the culture and the scene, and I was part of that. Yeah. Gary, growing up, I was a listener. Mm -hmm. I wasn't part, like of, the part scene. of it. Yeah, so you got more experiences. Mm. Right, yeah. Not going to fall out here. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's the end of the interview. Go over to Sidewinder Podcast, search on iTunes, search for Truda, Sidewinder Podcast, subscribe, get every episode, it's all good, we're out of here. Thank you, respect, cool man. Pleasure. Yeah man.